Hi there, and welcome to the ATS podcast with me, Will Brown, and John Salisbury, where we break down chunks of health and fitness information into bite-sized pieces, remove a bunch of the noise, just leave what's relevant. Uh, today, on episode 18 of season 3, we are on the science of a supplementation, evidence-based recommendation. Uh, we'd covered this before, but it bears repeating. Always. There is a fairly minimal amount of evidence-based recommendations that are effective. Um, chief among them are typically things like caffeine, uh, creatine monohydrate, specifically monohydrate, not like ethyl ester or glyconate or any of that, just creatine, good old creatine mono, just like granddad used to take. Um, <laughs> uh, whey proteins, again, not really a supplement, it's like a dietary supplement, it's essentially just a, a replacement for food at that point, which again is fine if you need protein with minimal other macronutrients, reasonable. Uh, multivitamins. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any other ones. Um, I mean, if, if we're talking like pure stuff that is like 100% works with almost no side effects, you're pretty much there. Yeah. The, um, Ca caffeine, whey, and creatine, and a motivate. Yeah. yeah. I can't. I can't Funnily enough, they're all reasonably cost effective as all. Well. You could argue whey's not as much anymore, but like in the grand scheme of supplements, they're all fairly cost effective. Yeah, reasonably cost effective for what you need them to do. Um, there really isn't much else that will give you a whole bunch of actual effect. Um, and for if you're keen to look into stuff, uh, examine.com is a great resource. They yeah. essentially have a search engine of um, papers on specifically just on supplements. Uh, and di dietary supplements and their effects on various things. It'll give you like a rating of evidence strength. Uh, again, if you're not super well, like science literature read, because again, it all looks like gobbledygook. Like when you when you start looking at it, like I don't fucking know how to read half the stuff most of the time. Like I can work my way through an abstract and eventually get into stuff, but trying to compare the validity of different methodologies for testing things gets a little complicated. I outsource that kind of thinking. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, if you want to dabble in that kind of stuff, examine's pretty handy. Again, something I use a lot. Like, if somebody, uh, like a case example was a client had or uh, a relative of a client had uh, a colitis diagnosis, which is grim. Nobody wants that. Uh, but they were wondering if turmeric and curcumin, or curcumin, I think that's how you pronounce it, like supplementation can essentially help with the chronic inflammation that comes with that condition. And there's actually a, 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 an amount of research on that specific combo of things. And it seems to be like going in a positive direction. They don't have like enough to be like 100% yes, get on it immediately. Um, completely going to work for absolutely everyone. Like all the, the classic, like very strong backing of supplements. However, if you're in a position where you're like, well, if I try it, like, and again, even knowing that you need to pair turmeric with curcumin in order to maximize absorption, otherwise the stuff that's meant to help inflammation doesn't actually get in, um, is a, a lot. But um, if you are like, well, it's only going to cost me X pounds for one dose or like one like months or a couple of months worth of the supplement, I think it's worth trying just to see how I feel. And yeah, go for it. But just be aware that it may in fact just be placebo. Who knows? There might be specific use cases where it's decent. And if it helps and you feel better, sick, go for it. But just yeah. don't be telling people that, you know, it cured your disease. That's what medicine's for. Exactly. Good luck. Have fun getting a GP appointment in the UK. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Catch you on the next one.